All right, so I was doing some other edit video editing and I just saw this uh, story on Google talking about how big officially Final Fantasy VII Remake is confirmed. It is a hundred gigs, people. It is a hundred gigabytes. Insane. Okay, so I'm on Push Square, uh, pushsquare.com. Basically, Final Fantasy VII Remake box confirms the game is 100 gigabytes in size. Two discs, remember, is what it says right here. So, all right, so basically the gist of it is this, uh, the Korean box art for Final Fantasy VII Remake, this looks like a uh, deluxe edition box right here. We can zoom in on it. Right there, there it is right there, 100 gigabytes. Jesus, you gotta be kidding me. And there is, okay, so look, so look, I, I'm not really sure what the ratings mean on the Korean box here, but if I'm looking at this, I'm thinking this is a rating no ages under 15 or under. And okay, so some sexual content right here, I think is what that is. I'm not really sure what this is, but this looks like it could be blood. So, everybody was up in arms saying that the ESRB rating was going to be like, you know, no blood. And, you know, they were taking blood out of the game. If, if you look at this right here, it looks like there's, it's 15 or over for blood. Now, and again, I don't know how much blood or what they consider to be too much over there. But, I mean, for me, this right here looks like again they've shot down another fear that people had about this game another one has been shot down so anyway i just happened to notice that because y'all know i like to eagle eye these things so yeah it looks like blood sexual content uh 15 and over is the rating let's see what else we can pick apart here there's some cool looking stuff in here we, we've seen these shots before uh at least i think can't really tell what that is right there it's too dark Remember back at E3 2019 when Square Enix said that Final Fantasy VII Remake would ship on two Blu-ray discs? Well, it wasn't kidding. Images of the game's Korean cover have made it online, and the back of the box confirms that the long-awaited role-playing uh, release will at least will be at least 100 gigabytes in size. Man, I tell y'all what, I tell y'all what, I told you all, I told you all, and several other people out there that have been covering this have told you all. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. They're, they're not... This is not a 10-hour Telltale game. This is not an episode. This is like... This isn't an episode. This is more like Lord of the Rings. You know, I've heard several people make that comparison. That's a great comparison for this game. This is part one of the story. There's probably going to be three or four parts. This is part one. They are putting so much more into this game. They haven't even shown us. They haven't even shown us all the story elements they're adding. They haven't even shown us. They haven't even alluded to it. They are staying tight-lipped on this. The original Midgar run of the game, you can knock it out in a couple of hours. You know, If you're speedrunning, you can do it less than that. They're packing more in. You're not just going to the first reactor and then falling off the bridge of the second reactor and meeting Aerith and going back through the train, uh, Don Corneo train graveyard, Aerith gets kidnapped, Shinra building, and out the door. No. No. That is not. They are adding stuff. They are adding a ton of stuff to the story. So just sit back and relax, everybody. 100 gigabytes. Not an estimated 70 or 70-ish like the leakers were talking about. Those... Those prolific leakers that everybody was preaching. Oh man, they leaked everything about this game. And I said, no, they did not. Several people out there said, no, they did not. They did not leak everything. They didn't have access to everything. They got some stuff. They didn't get everything. Right here, 100 gigabytes. They predicted 70 something. You got like a whole other game on top of that. 30 gigabytes. That's a game. That's a next-gen game. That's about a 20-hour next-gen game. They didn't even catch that. So, sit tight, people. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay on this. So, 
let's go on. It's assumed the Final Fantasy VII Remake will be packed with high quality cinematic cutscenes, which typically take up a lot of file space. On top of that, Square Enix has stated on numerous occasions that this is a full game despite being just the first installment in this new Final Fantasy VII series. Honestly, we're expecting it to be surprisingly lengthy, a surprisingly lengthy experience. Will you have to make room for Final Fantasy VII on your hard drive? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. The, the PS4 Pro is dedicated on April 10th. I'm cleaning it off on April 9th. I will be in line for my physical copy and in the house at 9 or 10 p.m. playing this thing. So yeah, the PS4 Pro becomes the Final Fantasy VII Remake house. That's it. So, that, there's nothing left to say. Like I said before, there's just nothing left to say. I think, I think this game is going to blow expectations out of the water. I think some people are skeptical, and it's good to be skeptical. It's, it's great to be skeptical. You, you shouldn't just slip down the, the hype mountain uh, on a muddy hill and just hit every rock on the way down. I look at my hype as an ascent, not a fall. So, <laughs> um, But then you got people out there that are just tearing it down, just trolling or whatever. And to you folks, I say, ha, ha, ha. And that's a hearty ha, ha from everybody out there that's been saying this game is going to be huge. It's not going to be 70 gigs. It's going to be two full Blu-ray discs. It's going to happen. I was in the camp that was, that was thinking it might be 80 or 90. It may not be two full Blu-ray discs. A hundred gigabytes. Just to put this in perspective, I've pulled up some stuff here. So th that would put this in some pretty stellar company as far as like size of games and stuff goes. So you've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare is 175 gigabytes. That game is a monster. Destiny 2 is 165 gigabytes. Okay. Red Dead Redemption 3 is 100 plus gigabytes. Final Fantasy 7 Remake clocks in right underneath those at 100 gigs even. And then underneath that you've got Final Fantasy 14, which is an MMORPG. So if you look, if you look at these games, they all have aspects of MMOs. You know, you've got Red Dead Redemption 2 that has an online multiplayer. Modern Warfare, of course, goes without saying. Destiny 2 goes without saying. Final Fantasy 14 goes without saying. Final Fantasy 7 Remake, it's not an MMO. It's not supposed to be that big, you know? But it is. So, what are we getting? It's time to speculate on that now. So, I'm not going to get too deep into that. But I, what I will say is this. I think there's gonna I think they're gonna throw in some multiplayer. I think there's gonna be some kind of multiplayer. We already know this is gonna be some kind of like VR HUD that you can do and, and nobody really knows exactly what that is just yet. Um, I think there's gonna be some multiplayer in this thing. I think they're gonna have a bunch of surprises and goodies just waiting for us. A hundred gigabytes. That's that's not just nice looking cinematics, people. That's not and most of the cinematics that people think are pre-rendered in the game, people are actually starting to pick apart and say this is um, this is in game. A lot of people are saying that stuff's in game. So um, I'm stoked. I mean, it's just like you know, the more stuff that comes out, the the more amazing this looks. So you know, we got that we got that shot of the rating on the front there people were afraid there was going to be blood in this thing i think there will be I, th I think that's what that rating means i could be wrong you all let me know in the comments if i'm wrong if you know if you know let me know uh but i think i could be right about that you know yeah of course we know sexual explicit content we know it's going to be in there uh this game is made for us the fans that they have gone all in on this i couldn't be more excited it's it's a great time to to be excited for this and a great time to be part of the gaming community the role-playing game community the final fantasy community i mean this is a great time just we're living in an event period right now people people this is an event it is event time and i said when resident evil 2 came out i said this is going to be an event final fantasy 7 remake for me and i know it's not everybody's favorite game i know some people that don't even like the game for their own reasons and that's fine but for me and other people like me, man, I'll tell you what, this um, this this is a once-in-a-generation event. 
you know so we're, we're, we're just, I'm just gonna soak up everything like gravy on a biscuit I'm just gonna soak it all up and enjoy the tasty goodness that's what I'm gonna do so anyway y'all post your comments let me know what you think about that that's nothing but great news um, the ratings on the front 100 gigabytes I mean this is and from a design I'm a, I'm a designer I'm a graphic designer this picture right here is a sleeve or a, a box before it's cut so you can see all the little marks and stuff on there um, this is fresh off the printer this is right off the printing press so I hope it's real I hope it's real this is a this is a box before it's cut so I hope it's real there's a chance there's a chance it could be fake there's a chance a fan could have made that there's a chance but I think it's a small percentage chance I don't I don't think I don't think this is fake I think this is real I think that anybody can make some I could make something like that on my computer with the proper assets and print it and have the cut marks on it and stuff like that but I don't think it's fake anyway I'm gonna leave it at that you all have a great night keep rocking I got more stuff coming your all's way you all know how we do it if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel click the bell for all notifications when I go live whether, whether I'm streaming or whether I'm putting up new content and I um, yeah I gotta get back to work I'm working on some cool stuff so also uh, tomorrow I start uh, streaming Chrono Trigger on. Uh, I start streaming Chrono Trigger on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash Ray Kaufman. If you haven't followed me on there, it, I've just started putting work into that channel. So it's there's only like a, a handful of people on there. So, but check it out. We're gonna have a great time playing Chrono Trigger. You can check all my stuff out on there as well. So you all keep rocking. Have a great night. Hope you had a great beginning of your week and have a wonderful rest of your week. I will. Y'all see me tomorrow. All right. Y'all take care. Be good to each other. <laughs>